Hello, boys and girls. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Oh, the frolic. It's it's 12 games into the season. This is a Pearl of Dance, don't you know? I haven't did it for a while. Well, for you, anyways. Hey, Gordo. You've been practicing, my friend. Have you been going to Perlo's house to spank? And anyways, Ryan O'Reilly. Let's talk about him being traded. We're going to talk about it. Because that's what we do here at Pearls of Wisdom Industries, isn't it? Yeah, buddy. Okay. So, St. Louis Blues, they be sucking. They got an issue in St. Louis, I believe, where you've got... A bunch of young guys that just got contracts and some old guys like O'Reilly and Tarasenko where the phone is quiet. Their agent's not saying nothing. His agent calls him up and says, let's go for lunch and talk about contract for O'Reilly. And he and, and they go, tell my sales secretary, yeah, just tell him I'm going to be golfing that. Doesn't look like St. Louis. I think there's some unrest in that room. Now we're going to look at an article by Pierre Lebrun from the PSN. I just like to say that. Pierre Lebrun. I don't know if that's how you say it, but I like to say it like that. Lebrun. That's the way it should be said. Anyways, it's a pretty cool guy. It's on TSN. Usually doesn't just send this stuff out there with nothing backing it up. And since I'm in the depths of my basement now, as you can tell, in the darkness, I like to be there. I like to hang out there. Uh, I thought, you know what? Let's talk about it. Let's talk some trade action, my friends. All right. We're going to look at the article. We're going to look at ooh, Ryan O'Reilly himself, St. Louis Blues, what they may be needing in return. Five teams that he may go to. All part of the Steel Flyers All Sports Network and bpalpicks.com. If you like making money and having frolic, I can set you up with a free week of that in the comment section. Best handicapper in the land. I know him. I talk to him every day. We talk in the basement. It's me. And you can get all the money for a free week. Check it out. See how it goes. All right. Oh, sure. My window capture is not going to work now, right? Okay, this way. I'll be right back. I'm not changing the video. I'm not stopping the freaking video. Are you kidding me? Oh, let's get back to this here. I'm not stopping the video. I, one take is what we do here at Pearls of Wisdom Industries. One take. One time, no frills, no little jingly little jingles in the beginning. And why am I saying that sarcastically? Those guys are cool. I'm just too lazy for that shit. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right. Now that we got it, now we got it. St. Louis Blue is struggling. Why do we have Patrick Kane there? That don't matter. Will O'Reilly become trade bait? TSN Hockey Insider Pierre Lebrun writes, Thursday in the Athletic. The Athletic is one of the finest in the land. You need a membership. I highly recommend you get one. O'Reilly had 21 goals and 58 points last season. He's off to a slow start with just two goals in 11 games. 31 year old has a robust resume, though. Yeah. Won a Stanley Cup, Selkie Trophy winner, I believe. If not, he should have been. I'm pretty sure he won one Selkie Trophy. Uh, he is a captain. He has no trade protection of any kind in his contract. Woo! That's amazing if you want to trade somebody like that. So you might be asking me, they currently are a minor and they came losing streak. Okay, it might be a little soon. You know, St. Louis can turn things around here. Uh, but 
like I said, I really think the big part of the problem here is that they're looking to work with the youth. There rather than they're St. Louis hasn't been known. They let Peter Angelo go. Because he wanted eight million dollars a year for till he was old. They don't like giving people contracts till they're old. And uh, we'll get into some Tarasenko trades. I'm going to look at Bo Horvat too. So sub yourself up. Subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss this frolic, my friends. You don't want to miss the frolic. St. Louis Blues. St. Louis Blues, what would they need in a Ryan O'Reilly trade? Well, I mean, let's face it. If they're going to trade Ryan O'Reilly, that would be pretty much a rebuild. However, with them, it would be a retool. Sort of. What the, what's the difference? Well, a rebuild would mean like trading everybody. Like Chicago did. Just trading everybody in the land. Grabbing picks. Arizona. That's a rebuild. Scorch right down rebuild. But here you got Jordan Cairo, who's struggling right now. Uh, Tom, Robert Thomas. Who's, yeah, kind of. Uh, you still got Buchanovic, who is young, but you could trade him away as well. Tarasenko already asked to be traded. I'm not sure they want to line up to give him another long contractor after asking to be traded, especially if they're going to trade Ryan O'Reilly. So I think they'd be looking for young players, draft picks, of course, and uh, really, especially on the defensive side, but I'll tell you as we go through these, that's hard to find. Uh they, they drafted Kaczynski. Uh, no, that was Chicago. Chicago drafted Kaczynski last draft. Nietzsche by New Jersey. I mean, the more I watch it, the more I look at it, the more I think, even if there's a more talented forward out there, defense, when we go through here, it is so hard to get defense. Do you notice in the NHL right now, goals are up? Is it Are the goaltenders bad? No. There are not enough defensemen out there to go around. You've got some really bad players, bad for NHL standard players, playing in the NHL right now that shouldn't be there. All right, so let's look at some of the places he may go. Oh, we didn't look at him himself, did we? Ryan O'Reilly. Look at him real quick. He's from Ontario. Uh, I don't think that has too much of a bearing on where he would go here since he is a complete, has a no, doesn't have a trade clause at all, which is mind blowing actually. It's kind of unreal. He's at seven and a half million this year, and uh, he's going to need a new contract. I have a feeling he's going to be looking for at least as much as he already was making. So we'll have to look at that as we look at every single person uh, at the ones we're looking. Now, for the one year, St. Louis, to add value, could retain. Think about that. Keep that in mind as we look to each team here. They might, have, be, might be willing to take or be interested in O'Reilly. And the first one I have is a New York Islander. I'm kind of doing this on a... On a, a likelihood basis, the, the last team would be the most likely. But um, the New York Islanders, the reason why I say the New York Islanders is they, yes, they have an old club and you're getting another old player. And immediately Islanders fans are going to be like, oh, great, another old player. Okay, you know what? Your general manager likes veterans. It's obvious. You got, like, you're right, ancient players. Like, Palmieri was not really, he's not ancient, but he plays like it sometimes. 31 years old. Zach Parise is 38 years old. You know, you're getting up there. Anders Lee, Pajo, all 30 or north of 30. What the fuck does he just likes veterans and you want to win now? I don't see this team going out and getting youth. How are you going to go get youth? The only way to get young players is to trade old players. It's the only way you can do it. Or trade draft picks to get them, which you're trading a young player <laughs> in order to do that. So once you've made your bed, which the Islanders maybe have here, then I really think you just got to go with it. Now, the next thing you're going to say is, 
cap hit. We don't have cap. Can't do it. Don't have cap. Don't have cap. Don't have cap. Can't do it. It's the first thing I always hear from people. They can retain. So that would be three point five million, and they're gonna want players back, probably. So, you know, maybe one player. And since you're going for it here, imagine you got Barzal. Brock Nelson really could move to the wing. He's a really good winger. So you could have a line of Brock Nelson, O'Reilly, and Palmieri with Wallstrom, Barzal, and Lee. Pretty solid top six, I would say. And uh, I think you'd have to relinquish a young player in Bovilli. I think you'd have no choice here. Because there isn't much more that they could afford to give. They're not giving Dobson. There's no way they're giving Romanoff now. And uh, Lamorello himself has said he's not going to trade defense for offense. He's not going to trade it. Not going to do 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 it. Whether you agree with that or not, he said it, and that's likely not going to happen. So, Lavillier, a prospect which I don't really have no. You're not trading Atu Ratu. No way, no way are you trading Atu Ratu in this deal. Uh, I better not. I would be pissed if I were you. But a William DeFore who's, you know, really, I don't think he's doing much in the minors yet. 20 years old. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, William DeFore. William DeFore. Uh, and this is not a rental. This is, you got to sign him. You gotta sign them. That's the other part. So you're not making this deal if you're not signing them. So all O'Reilly has to do is not commit to anybody for a contract, and the value drops quite a bit. So let's say he's just a rental. You might be able to get him for just a first round pick into four. First round pick into four. That's it. However, that doesn't help you with your cap. So you still got to, somebody's got to go back. Some forward has to go back. Why don't you tell me? I don't think it can be Palmieri. It's got to be Beauvillier. I don't think they want Josh. What do they want Josh Bailey for? They don't want Josh Bailey. They want young kids. So say Beauvillier in a first for a rental of O'Reilly. Eh, seems steep. Not 2023, 2024. I might do that. Because do you want to win a cup or not? Are you going to win a cup with this team and not trade anybody? Oh, but we need young kids. We, too, it's too late for that. You don't have young kids. You're not going to have young kids for a very long time. And they're not going to help you for at least four years. O'Reilly helps now, and maybe you win a cup with them. One of the best two-way wingers to ever play the game. Check that out. Now, if you can sign them to a long-term contract, and, uh, you know, you got you got that fourth line coming off the books again. No, 2023, you don't. <clears throat> wow, you don't have anybody coming off the books next year. So, honestly, it would have to be a rental. If he doesn't commit long-term to any, anything, you grab him as a rental. If he's not willing to commit long-term to anybody, then you give up, like, to forward first or something like that. What do you think about that, Islanders fan? Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And we need 14 people for a grand, you know. Thousand followers in YouTube land is where all the frolic is. It's like, as soon as you hit a thousand followers, puppies and lollipops just start popping up all over your environment. So, if you could do that, that would be great. All right, Boston Bruins, you heard me. And uh, honestly, I think this is pretty unlikely, but I want O'Reilly in Boston. Is there anything more Boston than an O'Reilly in Boston? I don't think so. One of the best. Imagine Patrice Bergeron, probably the best two-way forward of this generation, and Ryan O'Reilly. Like, nobody is going to be able to move 
in your top two. Talk about shutdown. My gosh. You win a cup. You said, what are you going to do with David Krejci? I don't know. Play him in the third line. See if they'll take Coyle. And, uh, you know, I don't know if they would want. They don't need Coyle, so they're probably not going to. You're doing them a favor. And then just give them everything you got. Just give them a potpourri of prospects that Lizell. Lizell, your 2023 first. And uh, Coyle to make the money work. We can't trade Lizell. What are we going to do for the future? You're not doing anything for the future anyways, man. You got nothing in your system at all. The fact that you lose Lizell just puts you back a little bit more, which is going to be a lot more. Like you, it's just another bucket in the ocean of no prospects that you already have. You didn't bring, you didn't bring Krejci back and Bergeron for another year. He might not even play next year. Then what? Then you got to end up trading for picks and stuff like that. And okay, you, you could have had Lizelle to help you do that, but you could have O'Reilly to win a cup to send you off on your way to Painville for the next however long that will be. Of course, this is Boston, so everything can look like it's not going to work out in Boston. Just wins. Look what they're doing this year eight and two or whatever already. I had them, everybody had them written off, and I have to admit I did too. So, who knows what they'll do. But, O'Reilly in Boston to me, subscribe to my channel, my friends. They're in wherever you are, land. And uh, to my YouTube channel, subscribe to it. And uh, I will bring you all the knowledge. Okay, Philadelphia Flyers. I know. I know you guys are laughing. Oh, I hear you laughing. Faintly in the background. From wherever you are, I can hear you. But honestly, what are, what are they doing here in Philadelphia? Are they, are they rebuilding? No. You get Tortorella to rebuild? I don't think so. Uh, the manager, Chuck Fletcher, said himself, I don't think we have to tear this down. We have a lot of good talent here, and we can blah, 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 blah. Tortorella's doing it all right. I don't know how long it's going to last. Carter Hart's playing like crazy. So Ryan O'Reilly's available. He's making $7.5 million right now. Uh, yes, oh, don't have cap space. Cap, 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 cap space. Cap, cap, space. Cap, cap, cap. I hear you. I hear you out there saying it right now. Cut, cut, cut. Uh, yeah, somebody's going to have to go, man. They can retain this year. If Philadelphia is in a spot come the deadline or come the tra uh, trade deadline, you, you think they're going to blow this up? Nay, nay. No way. Well, we just traded Giroux last year. Giroux's a little older. O'Reilly's 30 years old. He's probably got four or five years left. And I can tell you right now, there's a certain coach, Mr. Tortorella, who will be like strangling people to get O'Reilly on that team. Strangling people. Like if anything says Tortorella player more than freaking O'Reilly, I don't know what else does. You get Couturier back, you've got Kevin Hayes, and you've got O'Reilly, you have got the best shut down centers up the middle in anywhere in the NHL. All of a sudden, you have something that's better than anyone else to build around if you're not going to rebuild. And you can play Tortorella hockey and win games 2-1 every single night. You know, I don't know if you want to do it or not, but I'm telling you, I could see them doing it. And I haven't even talked about who would go back. Scott Lawton, uh, 2024 first. I'm not giving the 2023. And I want to sign him. So let's go if we can find somebody with term. I, I give the 2023 first. 
No, he can't. He can't, right? Well, what if you could... Oh, he can't do it. Who's got term? Joel Farabee. I love Joel Farabee. But you got to give up somebody. Joel Farabee, 2024 first. And then you find a way to sign O'Reilly. And you got yourself a team for a very long time. Tell me what you think, Philadelphia Flyers fans. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll send you a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace right to your door. Pearlocopter to your door, my friends. Pearlocopter. Hernandez and Melissa is working day and night to get it to you. All right. Nashville Predators. You heard me. You heard me, Nashville Predators. Uh, they have cap space, for one. They are having a really rough time now. But they're doing nothing that says they're rebuilding here at all. Like nothing. I think this organization needs to make the playoffs. They need to make money. And if Ryan O'Reilly was available, I know it's within division, so it even makes it tougher. But if he was available, I'm sure they're on the horn trying to do something. Because it's the character of Ryan O'Reilly is probably exactly what this team needs. Last year, this team would battle, 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 battle. This team came back and look, and it looks, feels like to me, they remembered last year and went, I can't do it again. I can't do it. Can't find it in me. It's hard battling the way they did last year. Most fighting majors in the NHL, this team was fighting and battling every single night. Now you're not you're very you're gonna be pretty gassed come playoff time doing that. So you gotta to try to find a balance. So enter O'Reilly. He's already won a cup. He battles, but he knows the balance. And he could help these guys become better as players together as a team. And show them what it means to have a balanced battle. So who goes back? Michael Gramlin. Does he have a no trade? Kind of silly if he did. Nope. Michael Gramlin does not have a no trade clause. So he could go back. I do believe Nashville has some cap space, right? I just mentioned that. He could go back the first in 2024. Eh, not much. They got a little bit. They can retain. St. Louis retains. The first in 2024. I, I just don't want to give up that 2023. Michael Granlin and a prospect. Which prospect? That's the thing. They're getting a little shy on the prospect side. Oh, why don't we go Eli, Eli, Eli Tovenin? Eli Tovenin. Granlin in your first in 2024, and you sign O'Reilly next to a long term contract, and you got one of the best two way players for the next three, four years. This lineup looks not too shabby. It's something that I could see. It's something that I could see David Poyle doing. He's made deals something like this before. You could throw Cody Glass in there if you need to. But next year, you got a lot, you got quite a few people come. Oh, you got to sign Tanner Janot. Hey, they're not really coming off the books. Not a lot coming off the books, actually. So you'd have to do some work here. But you got rid of Granlin. The cap's supposed to be going up. You probably could fit him in somehow. And you got a pretty solid team, man. You just kept Johansson, who I always wanted to see him. Look what Johansson could do as a winger. He's he plays right wing. Put him on the wing. You got Niederreiter, Ryan O'Reilly, or Forsberg, O'Reilly, Duchesne. Well, yeah, you wouldn't need to put him on the wing. Niederreiter, Johansson. 
And uh, that kid you got in the minor there, Tomasino, he's got to come back up again. You got a solid top six there, man. I, and by the way, I think Nashville's going to come around here a little bit. All right, next. Nashville Predators fans, tell me what you think about that. Comment in the comment section. Let me know. Let me know what you think. All right, Carolina Hurricanes. Ooh, I get, I got goosebumps. Thinking about Ryan O'Reilly in Carolina, man. Imagine Sebastian Ajo. Top five, probably two-way center in the game. And then enter in Ryan O'Reilly. And I've said a long time, I mean, Jordan Stahl is kind of the character of this lineup, but he can't do it all by himself. Bain and Burns helps on that side too. But you bring O'Reilly and you got one of the best shutdown lines, two, top two, top six shutdowns in the League. Svechnikov is incredibly underrated defensively. Jarvis is still figuring it out. Uh, who are we missing? Paul Stassen. Some, oh, Tara, two, Tara Vinen. I forgot about that. Tara Vinen. Kokiniemi moves down. O'Reilly and Marty Nietzsche's. And you signed O'Reilly. You sign O'Reilly next year. This lineup is insane. Maybe Kokaniemi goes back in the deal. Somebody's going to have to go back because they they don't have a flat cap. They don't have they don't go to the cap. They can't afford to go to the cap. Is what I'm trying to say. Although he, uh, the owner did, has said that they will go to the cap if necessary, and this would bring him to the cap for sure. But somebody's going to have to go back. Of course, you can't just take a guy and then nothing goes back, right? So, I think you're going to have to eat your 2023 first. Uh, maybe if you're giving up on him, I don't know. Because just uh, Kokiniemi, pretty sure he doesn't have a no trade clause, right? Oh, he has a moderate no trade clause in a bit. Yeah, I'd do it. Kokiniemi, 2023 first. And maybe a defenseman of some kind, like Antoni Honka or some Antoni Honka. And you, my friends, I think would have to be with O'Reilly in this lineup a favor to win the cup. Really do. I really, really think so. Tell me what you think about that, Carolina fans. Subscribe to the channel, as they like to say, that of the YouTube channel. I'm at 14 and I need, I, I'm going to hit a thousand when you subscribe right now, which is a big deal in YouTube land. All, there's a festival all over the land when somebody hits a thousand. All right. Finally, the Colorado Avalanche. It almost makes me weep. It almost makes me weep into my soul to think of Ryan O'Reilly going to the Colorado Avalanche. My God, man. When they got Landeskog and Nichushkin back, you've got Landeskog, McKinnon, Rantanen, Nichushkin, O'Reilly, and say Newhook. Insane. Better than last year. Two-way wise, shutdown wise, I I don't see how anybody beats that top six with the defense they already have. But Perlo, you say, who's going back? Andrew would be. I have to, of course, yeah, I have to agree with you. Somebody has to go back, right? And maybe in this case, it's. I don't think they want to get rid of Newark. First in two thousand twenty-three. Bye bye. Bye bye. For sure. JT Confer. Bye bye. And dare I say, see, they're going to want to keep all their players if they can. I, do they have cap room to do this? 
retained money. They retained three. They retained half. What have we got for cap? Oh no! Even if they retain half, somebody's got to go back. Somebody's got to go back. I'm not getting rid of Gerard. I know I've heard all the rumors. There's no way I'm doing it. And I'm not getting rid of Bow and Byron. Not, 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 not going to do it. Not going to do it. JT Comfort would be three and a half million. So you'd be okay for this year. Because they would retain. JT Comfort. 2023 first and pick a prospect. Just pick a prospect. They don't have much left. It's getting a little slim in the prospect part. Yeah. Very slim in Colorado. Nobody's really talking about that, but Ben Myers. Ben Myers played last year. How's he doing in the AHL? Is it, why does he only play two games? Yeah, maybe Ben Myers, a 2023 first, and JT Comfort. I don't know if that's going to do it. It might. Would you do a Colorado fans? Would you? I think it might take more than that. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure, but it might take more than that. It might take the 2020, yeah, 23 first. I don't know. Depends on what the lineup is like. Anyways. Sub yourself up and tell me what you think about that, boys and girls, in Colorado land. I want to hear from you. I want to talk to you. I love to talk to hockey, don't you know? Yes. I'm Pearl of Wisdom. You're listening to the Pearl of Wisdom show. My NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And uh, you can also talk to me at bpowpicks.com at the Telegram app. B to the P, as in Paul, O as in Octopus, and W as in uh, Wichita, dot com, where I can make you lots of money and give you frolic for all the land, as I'm one of the best hockey chappers. There are, and I'll give it to you for a week for free, just because, just because that's the kind of thing I do for great people like you. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Bye.